Today we're going to talk about how to take a look or a lookup table from Photoshop and apply it to Adobe Lightroom. So in the last episode we showed you how to take Adobe Capture app on your iPhone or Android and snap a picture and create a look. I'm going to apply this look to this image by double clicking it and now I'm going to do a conversion so that I can use this in my camera raw so I can actually do color grading um, as we would choosing a standard camera profile. So from here I'm going to go File, Export, Color Lookup Tables and that is going to give us this dialog box. I'm going to title this La La Land and I want to make sure um, that I'm going to go ahead and use lowercase. Um, I want to make sure that this is 64 grid points and high. If you set this to maximum, it'll actually give you an error and won't let you load it. Under format, it has to be a cube. So I'm going to choose La La Land. I'm going to highlight this and copy it because it's going to ask us one more time. I'm going to hit OK here. I'm going to title that La La Land. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Click Save. And that's going to automatically spit out the cube file onto my desktop. Now I'm going to open any raw file. So I'm actually going to open the raw file of this one um, in Photoshop, which will automatically open up into Adobe Camera Raw because it's a raw file. Now nothing has been done to this image. So you want to make sure that your profile is on Adobe Standard. And then we're going to come over here to the Presets tab, click Presets, and I'm going to come down here and Option Click New Preset. That's going to give us this dialog box. I'm going to name it La La Land. I'm going to put it in User Profiles. I want to use a Color Lookup Table. I want to choose from the desktop the cube that I had created. I'm going to hit Load. and inside of here the amount I'd recommend starting the amount at about 30 leaving the minimum at about 0 and maximum at 200 um, the gamut clip samples 32 that's fine um, I always work in Adobe 1998 so I'm going to put that here if you use Profoto then you would put that here or sRGB then you would put that here once I do this I can click OK and now if I come back out to my basics tab here and look under my user profiles I now have the profile La La Land. Now this should automatically share with Lightroom. So I can go ahead and click that if I wanted to apply it and I could open up the image. I'm going to go ahead and click done and now I'm going to um, open up Lightroom and then we should see I have this image in my Lightroom catalog. There it is. And in the develop module what I'm going to do is come down here to profile Adobe standard. I'm going to click the additional profiles and I should be able to scroll down. There it is. I can click that. And now I've applied that to my raw edited or my raw file. So this allows me to do color grading in a non destructive state of raw before I even get into Photoshop. So if you're primarily a Lightroom user or Adobe Camera Raw user and you don't really do much in Photoshop and you want to still do your color grades, you can take any lookup table that you've created or any lookup table that you've found or bought or downloaded and convert them into essentially profiles for Adobe Camera, Adobe Camera Raw and Adobe Lightroom.